Alright then guys, today I'll be showing you a strategy on defeating the queen bee. Let's start right off with the accessories. You will need a anglet and Hermes boots. For the items, you will need some healing potion, two iron skin potion, two regeneration potions, two swiftness potions, wood or any block, platforms, a campfire, a heart lantern, shuriken, a iron bow. If you got a better bow, then that's great. Go ahead and use it instead. Flaming arrows and a bucket. The armor set I'll be using is the cactus armor set. If you got a better armor set, then that's great. Go ahead and equip it. Now, let's talk about the potions. The iron skin potion gives you plus five armor. It can be crafted with bottled water, day bloom, and iron ore. The regeneration potion provides health regeneration at two health points per second. It can be crafted with bottled water, day bloom, and mushroom. The swiftness potion increases movement speed by 25%. It can be crafted with bottled water, blink root, and cactus. All of these potions can be found in chests. Now, I'll show you how to build the arena. Since every beehive is different, you might have to clear some room. Start at the bottom of the hive and place solid blocks on top of the honey. Use your bucket to fill your platform with honey. You can stop once you get the honey buff. Place platforms on top of the honey. Once you are done, place the campfire and the heart lantern. Count four blocks up and place a row of platforms. Jump on the top of the platform and place blocks two apart as high as your character can reach. You have now just completed the arena. For this fight, I will be spawning the queen with a abomination. You can also spawn the queen by breaking the larva inside the beehive. The abomination can be crafted with honey block, stinger, hive, and bottled honey. Before we start, you can press H on your keyboard to automatically drink a healing potion. Start off by standing in the honey. You should have the honey buff. The honey buff lasts 30 seconds when not in the honey. So remember to reapply by standing in the honey. Press B on your keyboard to automatically drink all the potions. The fight usually lasts longer than 5 minutes. So remember to reapply your potions. Alright, let's talk about the fighting strategy. Once summoned, she will start off her attack by trying to ram you. It's easy to dodge her ram though. Whenever she makes this sound, go to the next platform to dodge her ram. She will randomly try to ram you during the fight, so watch out and listen. It's a good idea to look at your minimap to see where she will come from. She has two other attacks, sending bees and stingers. Use the shurikens when she sends bees and the arrows when she sends stingers. When she hovers above you, switch to shurikens and shoot them straight up at her. As you can see, she is sending stingers so we are using arrows. 
As you can see, she is sending these, so we are using shurikens. Continue to use this strategy until she has been defeated. Remember to use healing potions when you are low on hearts. Awesome! You have defeated her. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back as she is a tough bugger. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and defeat the next challenge.